done some magic trick. Done that. <laughs> So I just place glue. If you're having a hard time doing this, I would recommend to use glue stick. Hot glue, glue stick. Hot glue, hot glue. Or um, print two templates for one leaf and put them on top of each other with the wire in, in between. That will help too. That's when you're using thinner paper. And that will help to end that last very, 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 very long. These. Okay. Done the leaves. Bend. Okay. Bend it backwards. Attach to the stem. Try using So here's my flower tape. My glue stick. Just clean up a bit. Look, uh, we are so messy. Okay. We just wrap the floral tape a couple of times around the tissue and then you walk and you roll it the way down. Can we just struggle, but I've done this so many times before. You'll get used to it. Eventually. There's a sharp edge. Spearing from skin. We do not want sharp edges. And then we'll just <clears throat> to take a sip. Excuse me, I'm just gonna take something to drink. Well, now it all became this. And securing with a bit of extra glue, just got that. Can't bend it anymore. Careful for your eyes when you're doing that. Okay, I'm just gonna pull this a bit down, or else it will look so, so flat. And I want some life in my flower. Still not satisfied with the center. Just have to open this up a bit. Because this is 
better. Next. I need to buy um, floral tape. This is my last green roll and need to order. Should have ordered before because I buy it on Amazon in US. It's very cheap. One roll is like 45 cents or something but it takes a long time to arrive. Um, so I just have to buy a few here. Which is like 250 or 3 euros. So big difference. And... I will order some in the US, but while waiting, at least I will have something to use. I am beautifying this one. There you go. And now I'm gonna add the leaf, two small ones. Two small ones. I shouldn't stop extending watching myself my video and to recognize that my S sometimes is very very long. I need to shorten it. I don't know why. It just happens. It's again, see? It could be annoying. It annoys me, so I can imagine that other people then again, I'm very new at video tutorials. And I will learn along the way. That's my motto. And when you stick with me, you will see me grow. How about that? Just adding the two leaves. I'm using new because I think that's one easier to do and two prettier. And when you're touching, oops, when you're touching it, don't worry if it keeps moving. You can always adjust it after touching it. You know, don't come doing now. Just move it a bit how I want. So don't just attach it first and then you can adjust later. And that's one. <clears throat> I think I should have. And then I'm gonna look how I'm gonna attach these two flowers together. I think I'll just add them here. So I'm moving the leaves like that. I'm sorry if I'm out of screen, I just have to look for myself how I would like to attach them together. So, I think like this. Or a bit lower. So, like that. And then I can start attach attaching the leaves and I'll put one here. One close to the leaf, uh, to the flower. First, a couple of rounds, make sure it's secured. And then you roll. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. And then right where it, it stops, I think I wanted them. Here, so let me see how does this look. I think I did. I did a bit too high. Let me use. It's not pretty. Okay, lower it a bit. Okay. 
think that's what it's here. Yep. Right there. Touch it to this side. Touch the next part. Mm. Okay. A bit lower. Like this. Just touch them together. This is also thick in the stem. You don't have to beautify it. I'm just looking at it because I want to see how how it will look eventually. And I'm gonna add another leaf here. And then lastly, I want to touch on here. Just below on this side. So you have to do, you have to fill some gaps. So you will have. Every angle you look. I will add uh, another wire of tape around it, the bottom, to make it more prettier. So every uh, angle you will have something to look at. I can always move. I'll move this a bit and um, just move this one and this one there and then this one there. There you go. Put it down a bit, put it up, whatever you prefer. Ah! I'm out of screen. So there you go. So, still leaves there. Still leaves on this side. So yeah. Leaves there too. I think. Just one here, one there. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. You can bend this a bit, move it. Um, I don't think this flower has a lot of curves, so there you go. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm gonna attach this one against. Um, I think. Frame. I will frame this one. Let's take more. Like a 3D art. Cover this part because that wasn't. Start here again. That wasn't really pretty. And I think we're done. Almost. There you go. You will have
I need more space so I can show you guys better. Like this. Clean up a bit. That will help too. I'm sorry for that. Anyways, when I do this, then you will have, you can see the full, the final result of the fruit of our labor. You could <clears throat> also, if you wish, you could also create a smaller bud, just bud bud, by using, you know, the first um, styr styrofoam bowl and the first two templates, and then you have a bud. And then you can wrap or the supple, wrap, wrap the supple around it, and then you have a bud bud bud. This is just a blooming one. And, uh, There you go. What do you think? This one. Then it's your ankle. You could also, if you think this is a bit too much up, you could pull the leaves down. I'm doing now. I think I like that one. So it won't be so. Will be more pretty. I'll show you the difference. See the difference? Much better. Much, much better. Much, much, much better. I can't decide what to do with this thing. Small one, I'll put it in front of me. So, just like that. And there you go. Clean gather. You could make more, like add them, like make two branches, two, yeah, two branches, and um, place them in a container, and they would look like you have a house plant for decoration or gifting or. Um, yeah, I didn't finish this one. I still have to finish that one. So, just add, you see? Then you'll have a whole bunch of mini gathers together. And you can put it in a container, in a vase, combined with other flowers or just this. And there's so many options. I think I will kind of be cutting mine a bit off here and put it against and frame it as dreamy art. Um, I would like to make those. So, this was it. I hope you had fun. And if you have any questions or you're struggling with something while making this flower, make sure to let me know um, in our Facebook group. Um, just post it or uh, PM me if that's what you prefer. You could also PM me a picture of your flower and point out what you're struggling with so I can help and uh, give you feedback. Um, so don't worry if this first effort does not work out. You see, I've made a lot and this is not even what I, it, I made. I made it pretty tough and made it simple. So it's like one, two, three, four. I made seven in total already. So. Um, that's why it goes faster because I really need seven. So, um, thank you again. Hope you enjoyed making this flower and uh, looking forward to see your creation and your version of them. Lily Gallon in my Facebook group of, or our Facebook group. And yeah. Please hit the subscription button, thumbs up, give me a thumbs up if you did like the tutorial or leave me a feedback, any comment or whatever, it will help me grow only. Thank you again and um, hopefully to see you next time. Goodbye.